Hey kids, it's Julie from Soul Sparklets Art and I am here to show you how to draw something really exciting that's happening in the sky right now. If you don't know, there's an actual comet that you can still view if you're watching this when this video comes out. But you can still view this comet as of Sunday, July 19th and you'll probably be able to view it for a couple more days, but it's called Neowise and you can go outside in the evening and see if you can spot it. But I thought it'd be fun to do a comet drawing. But this one's gonna use something a little different today. So I'm using chalk pastels. Now you can always draw this with crayons or markers, but if you do have chalk pastels, I'm gonna show you how to use them to get this really pretty delicate look. And one thing that chalk pastels do is they go really, really nicely over black paper. So if you have black paper and you have chalk pastels, then I want you to get those. If you don't, go ahead and use any color paper you have and get out the crayons and you can always layer the colors and you can still make this beautiful drawing. It'll look a little bit different because you're using something different, but it'll look just as beautiful. So this comment again, its name is Neowise and right now it's pretty cool that it just kind of came out of nowhere and it kind of surprised everyone. So I thought it'd be fun to draw it. So the first thing we're gonna draw is planet Earth. And planet Earth, we're gonna draw it in a big curve. So we're gonna go from the bottom corner to the bottom corner. And I'm gonna get out some chalk pastels that are gonna help me. And you might notice that these are cracked in half. It's because chalk pastels break really easily and it's okay if they break. So I'm gonna get out some different colors of blue to start with. And I'm gonna get out some different colors of green. So there's a light green, and this one doesn't look dark green, but it actually is dark green. And then I'm also going to get out a white, and I'm going to get out a yellow. Now, this is a light yellow, and I want you to know that having something underneath your paper when you're using chalk pastels is a really good idea because chalk pastels sometimes get this chalk dust everywhere and they can get your table a little messy. So this is just a larger piece of paper or poster board right underneath my black piece of paper and it just helps protect the table. But if you get it on the table, you can clean it. Chalk pastels come off the table really easily. So I'm gonna start with my one of the shades of blue and I'm just gonna draw a curved line like a rainbow from one corner to the other. So I'm gonna start at this corner and here is my big curved line. It's just like a blue rainbow. And then I'm gonna take it and instead of drawing with the edge, I'm gonna lay it down. And when you lay it down, you get these big smears of color. And I'm gonna color in everything underneath that blue rainbow that I just drew. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it to the side and I'm gonna pick up another color blue. Now, if you're using crayons, I want you to color everything underneath that rainbow, but color really lightly because you're gonna to wanna to put some continents too. But with chalk pastels, the continents can go right on top. So I'm just gonna color with my other blue. And I'm just gonna color in certain areas. And you notice how I'm not being too careful to color exactly. I'm just kind of putting, putting a little bit of color. Now I'm gonna take one finger and I'm gonna start using it to smear the color together. And do you notice how the color is getting softer? It's kind of smudging it. And I'm just gonna use that one finger to do it. If you accidentally use two, that's okay too. So I have this beautiful blue ball, right? So I'm gonna add some continents now. So I have a light green and a dark green and you can choose wherever you want to add them. But continents have an organic shape. That means it's not a circle or a square. Just gonna add some wiggly lines. And if you wanna make your continents look exactly the way that you know we have North America or Australia look, then go for it. But you can make you um, you can make just some wavy lines too. They can look like little islands. And then you're gonna lay this down right on top and you're gonna give a little bit of green. 
right on top. And the nice thing about chalk pastels is you don't have to be too perfect. It's okay if it gets a little messy. Okay, and before I use my finger to smudge it, I'm going to take my dark green and I'm going to add just a little bit of dark green to each of the areas that I use for my continents. And I can add a little bit to my islands too. Just a little bit though. And then I'm going to once again take my finger. You see how it's looking blue? But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get that color smudged in. My islands and my continents. And if you want to go back and you're thinking maybe this is too light green, you want to add some more dark green on top, you can, add, you can do that at any time with chalk pastels. So that's a dark green splotch. So I might decide to add some more light green. And you can layer with chalk pastels and play around with what you like, what looks good to you. So this one looks like it's got too much blue underneath it. So I'm going to get the green again press a little bit harder this time. Maybe I'll add both. And I'm going to use that one finger to smear it in. And now it looks like there's some shadows going on my continents. And that's what we want. So now I see exactly where my oceans are going to be. So I might get out my blue again and just make some areas of the ocean that first color so that I have areas that are one blue and I have areas that are another blue and it helps add dimension to your work. So now we're going to add our clouds. So I'm going to pick up my white and I'm not going to draw fluffy clouds because clouds if you're in space and you're looking down on earth are going to kind of look almost like their wind. So you're just going to add some little white and see how this looked almost like it was drawn. So if you accidentally draw like that and you make spirals, you're going to take your finger and you're going to smudge it. You're going to smudge your clouds just a little bit. So these would maybe be thunderstorms, or snow in certain areas of the world. But you have your clouds, you have your atmosphere and your weather happening on planet Earth. Okay, so now we're gonna add our atmosphere. And the way we're gonna do that is this little, this light yellow, we're gonna draw a really light rainbow that goes just above the blue. And if you need to turn your paper when you're drawing, I want to encourage you to do so. You want your hand to be comfortable as you draw. So just a yellow rainbow. And then I'm going to take my finger and once again, I'm going to smudge it. And if it touches the blue, that's good. We want that yellow and that blue to kind of blend. So now it almost looks like planet Earth is glowing, doesn't it? Okay, are you ready for the comment? I'm ready for the comment. So comets, they can be different colors when you look at them in a picture. I'm gonna use white and I might use, let's see, I'm gonna use maybe a light blue and then I'm gonna go back to my chalk pastels and get a gray. So I have three colors for my comet and I'm gonna decide how big I want my comet to be and the way I'm gonna decide that is I'm just gonna start drawing a circle. So if I draw a little circle, my comet might be really kind of little and tiny because the tail is gonna be um, about the same size, if not just a little bit larger than the head of the comet. So I want my comet to be a little bit bigger today. So I'm gonna draw a circle with my white. And then this is the head, it's gonna need a tail. So I'm gonna take this white chalk pastel. I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to draw some stripes and we don't want them to be perfect. We want some to be short. We want some to be long. 
And we want them to come from the head of the comet and go this tail is trailing behind it. So I'm going to put my white down for a minute. I'm going to get out my blue and I'm going to add a little bit of blue stripes to my comet and just a tiny bit in the head. And then I'm going to repeat the same with the gray. So you could choose green for your comet too if you didn't have the light blue or even yellow. You could even make a rainbow comet. So now I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to swirl around in a circle, and then I'm going to spread the tail out. Do you see how my finger's going in the direction of the tail? So I'm not going up and down, but my finger is starting at the head and it's going outwards for the tail. Now my comet ended up looking a little too gray or blue for my taste, so I'm going to get my white. And remember, you can layer your chalk pastels on top of each other. So you see how I'm making it more white? And I'm going to add a few more stripes, and then I'm going to smear them with my finger. And you can see how you're getting that different different color, different layers. It looks like the white's on top. Now you might be getting some chalk dust at this point. Do you see the chalk dust here? So you can take your paper upside or turn it like right side up and just tap that chalk dust off. What you don't want to do is blow the chalk dust. You don't want to do that. Now I think that our night sky needs one more thing before we're done with our project. I think it needs some stars. So you can actually take the edge. Instead of lying it down, I want you to stand it up. Hold it like a pencil. And you can make some white dots for those stars in the sky. You can make your sky be as starry as you want. Have a few stars. Or you can cover your entire sky. And there we have it. There's our comet. And I'm curious if you decided to do a white comet, you can go back and you can make, you have a rainbow comet. You could even choose a different planet to draw down here. So you can let your imagination go. I chose Earth and a white comet, but maybe you choose Jupiter and you choose a rainbow comet and that would look completely different. So hopefully you enjoyed this comet and the chalk pastels. And like I said, you can always do this with crayons. You're just gonna keep layering the colors on top of each other. So don't let the fact that you don't have chalk pastels stop you from creating. And I'll see you guys back next week.